In a previous video, I tested the Kinkini 32 channel smart home control board, which communicates with Home Assistant via MQTT. Today we look at an RS485 remote control unit that can be installed behind the light switch to send signals to control the relay board over up to one kilometer of cable. This enables us to create a fully wired smart home system. This is a tiny little device, only 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters in diameter. It's supplied with 12 volts DC power and communicates with the relay board using the RS485 communication protocol. This is a serial communication standard that is really good for long distances. Kinkini is saying up to a thousand meters of cable. Um, you can install multiple devices along the same bus Kinkini says up to 20 devices with the system. Really good for anti-noise interference and has a 10 megabits per second signal transmission speed. So having a look on the other side of the device, we have our inputs. So these K lines are the inputs. So we've got up to six individual switch inputs per unit. And you would wire up the switch between the K1 and the ground post of the device as can be seen over here. Before we can use the device, we need to set it up and then flash the settings directly to it. To do this, first of all, download this driver and install it on your system. Next up, you can download this piece of software. I'll leave the links to all these in the description below the video. Connect the device to the USB programming tool. This can be connected from A to A and B to B. Next up, you need to supply 12 volts to the device and plug the USB into your computer. Once you've downloaded it, open it up, select the serial port, leave the board rate and the parity as they are. Next, you press the open port button. You're now inside a connected environment with the controller. Now we can start setting it up. Always leave the target relay controller address as one and then the switch adapter address can be anywhere from 10 to 99. So we can have up to 20 of these. So I would name them as 10, 11, 12, 13, etc. Next up, we need to look at the six switches that are attached and we can control or set up each switch individually. So we can either have a momentary switch or an edge event. Because mine's an on off switch, I'm using an edge event. The bind output is the relay number. Remember, we've got 32 relays on our board, so this can be control relay one to six. Next, we need to select what's going to happen with a rising event. So when there's an edge event and it's a rising edge, we want to turn the relay on. When it's a falling edge, we want to turn the relay off. If, for example, we had a momentary switch, we would select momentary over here and then we could select whatever wanted to happen once we've done this we click apply to save to flash and now the unit is ready to go the wiring is really simple all we do is supply 12 volts to the device and then we run the a and the b and connect it directly to the a and the b on the unit if we're connecting multiple units we would just keep daisy chaining them along the same bus. Remember there is a jumper on the board. You would install the jumper on the last device in the line. On the other side, we connect the switch gang switches. So gang one would go to K1, gang two would go to K2, gang three to K3, and then the other side of the switch would be just connected to the neutral line. So now that I have it all connected up, I can simulate the switch by taking the K1 wire and connecting it to the ground. And as you can see, it's turning the relay on and off via the RS485 communication protocol. Pretty amazing. Now you're not limited to using these devices just with switches. These could be connected to anything from door and window sensors, to PIR sensors, gas sensors, float sensors, smoke sensors, or any type of binary sensor that can open and close the connection between K1 and ground. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas about creating an ultra reliable wired smart home linked up to Home Assistant. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.